Well, now creating a document in Web Merge is really, really simple. But I will help you guys walk through and give you an overview of each step along the way. So over on the right side of your screen, click on a new document. So we'll give the document a name, guys. For the example, and for this video, we're going to be creating a new client contract. Now, Web Merge offers three types of documents that you can use to fit your specific needs, guys. Now, the first thing is you can build your own document using the online editor. The online builder is like an HTML editor that functions like your favorite word processor and allows you to insert images, create dynamic content, and more. So you can easily like create a stylized document and or import an online form or if you're feeling a little bit more fancy and advanced you can create a sophisticated HTML document. Now if you want to look a bit more formal or the ability to edit the whole document later on, consider using like the fiddable PDF. You'll need to set up the PDF using editor on your computer, then upload it to Web Merge. And the last option, guys, is to build a Word document that has your field placeholders already defined. So guys, only choose a Word document if you want to create a document that can be easily modified after a merge. So it's pretty much like a PDF, but you'll need to edit the document on your computer, then upload it to a web merge. And now for this tutorial, we're going to be using the online builder, as I said before. And now to get started, we're going to add a logo to our document. To upload a logo, go ahead and click over here or on the picture icon in the editor. Now click the upload tab and choose a file from your computer. And click send it to server. And once you've uploaded the logo, we'll start adding text to the document. And this like functions very similar to creating a document in Microsoft Word or Google Docs. You can style at different areas, you can update alignment. Now we'll just put an example text in the document and we have like a document already queued up to show you what it's like to have a complete document. As you can see over here, I am just like typing in a variable placeholder. That is where the data will be merged with the document will go. Now, and now that we got this all set up, let's skip ahead a little bit and take a look at a finish product or document. So here is like an example of the finished document. You can see the field placeholders at the beginning. And also they are like scattered all throughout the entire document. After you set up the document, it'll take you through some basic settings. And over here is where you can change the file name of the merge document. And now you can choose the type of document that you want to receive or to output. And a few more advanced features. But for now, we'll just ignore the advanced features. Now, the next step will probably be for you to test out your document to just make sure that everything is working and running as smoothly as you expected. And they provide you with like a form that allows you to manually enter in the test data and then they'll generate like the merge document. 
and if you find like anything that you need to change simply jump back into the builder or upload an updated version of the document now as you can see from the document that was created the data that we entered on the form is now in the document Now after we've run your document through like a couple of testings, the next step is to set up your delivery. Since this example was already set up, we have a few examples already built. Though by default when you create a new document guys, you will automatically create a new email notification. Over here you can type in a message just like how you did in the document builder and you can even insert fields that you have on your document. Once you have your email created, go ahead and save that now. And they also offer guys like an options that allows you to like save the document over on the cloud, send off for e-signature, or just even send to another service via a webhook. And the last step will be to set up how you will send data to a web merge. And the first option guys will be to integrate. They provide a webhook endpoint that allows you to send data directly to your document. Now the second option is to upload data via CSV or a spreadsheet. And the last option will be a manual data entry. And they provide like a simple form much like the test document. It's very similar to that. That allows you to enter data in manually then they will generate the document and send it to your delivery option. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys learned something new. Don't forget to like subscribe down below and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.